I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force. The purpose is to play hands in pre-selected categories. I have strips for each category on the card and we're going to pick three and force hands in those three categories. This is a great skill to build, especially if you find that you play the same hands or maybe categories over and over. You kind of get in a rut. This will help you get out of that rut, but it will also help prepare you to play in a tournament or other special event where they pick pre-selected categories and any player who wins a hand in that pre-selected category will win a prize. We are going to force hands in winds and dragons, quints, and then odds. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston for each one. Joker, east, one of each dragon, pair eight, one, five, nine in dots. We'll pair eight crack. Uh, one, three, seven, eight in Bands. If these were your tiles, which category would you force? If these were my tiles, I would force odds because we have a lot of odds. Maybe we can do something with dragons if we get flowers. For the third hand down. And then the second hand from the bottom doesn't require flowers. We have one, three, five, or really little odds probably looks better. So I'd probably break up the eight. Oh my goodness. I like targeting multiples usually. Let's see here, because we could force a quint, because we have a joker and a pair of eights, but I usually want way more than that and bigger multiples. So let's let this dragon go and the eight bam. Here's one, three, one, five. Let's let the nine go and then see if maybe we can force a quint, but we could still try maybe a little odd hand. So let's just see what happens. North, that would be an option for a quint. Here's an eight. We could maybe play news concealed with eights. There's two tiles to pass, one, three, one. Okay. Five bam, flower. Okay, so we have a flower, dragons, eights. There's that quint right there. Oh, here, we don't need this. Flower, dragon, eight, or little odds. Let's see, wins, dragons. Two discards. I think I would let the five bam go because we don't have a green dragon for one three five in one suit. Let's let these go. A south. Looks like winds is coming in. Let's let the nine and the two go. 
And let's focus on the eights. We're going to try maybe for a quint or noose with eights. So let's let the five dot go. A flower. We have tiles we can pass. Let's keep going. Whoa, sixes. This is why you don't want to pass a pair. Okay, so what can we do there? Quint wins with a six, eight. Okay. Let's pass these three. South, eight, and eights. Okay, so we could maybe let those go and play this quint. Let's see, news with eights. Concealed wind hand. There are more tiles for that than the quint. We could use this to quint the eight, but then we could do nothing with the south and the six. I think what I would do is play eights with news concealed. And I probably would just ask for no tiles. Because I wouldn't want to just pass one. Do it with dignity. So I would go for probably Winds and Dragons here. If I had another dra uh, Joker or maybe another South or a bigger multiple here, I would do the Quint. But we have a, more tiles towards news concealed. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below the video with force one. And I'll set up for the next one. Okay, jokers, two. Flower, south, pair one with a six. One, three, five, seven in bams, singles, and then a one, three in dots. Which of these categories would you force with these tiles? Write force two in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would do. If these were my tiles, I would try to do both to a point because we do have jokers. So maybe hold little odds. Maybe play the south with number tiles. We need to let something go here. We do have like numbers. Third hand down. One, two, one, two. We'd, we might be able to do that if we get twos. So let's, let's see, one, one, quints or odds. Let's, let's let the one dot go so we can pass one of each suit. So let's see which of these comes in, a flower, now I would love to get a dragon, white or green. Okay, so we have a flower or maybe one, two, three for the first one, first quint, let's see. So here's three, five, one, one, three, five, three, five, one. Let's just let that five go. Okay. Look, 
quint. Okay, let's see if we can make it work. One, we need one, two, three for the first quint. So let's go ahead and, ooh, look what we got though. We could maybe do this, the wind quint. Let's pass these three. Okay, now we have one, two. Here's one, two, three. One, two, three, quint. Three, dragon. Flowers. I think what I would do is play the dragon quint. We could use the one with the white or the three with the green. I suppose we could use the dragon with the one as well. Let's pass these two. A little bit risky here. Okay, no keepers. I would just pass these on. A dragon. We could use that for this quint and those for that one. Okay, let's pass two. No keepers, but we've got a couple of options here. We could even do the wind quint. I would keep that for a little while. So here is quince. Okay, now we need to force odds. We need to force the odds and look, we got all these twos. Oh my gosh, look. Look at all those twos. How'd that happen? Okay, so we're going to keep odds. So 595. Five. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's make it work. So let's pass, let's break out a two here. Let's pass one of each suit. Flower, five wins. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's give a two to somebody else. Fives, five nine, no dragons, flowers. There are two hands with flowers in odds. One with dragons and one multiplication. One with flowers, or not flowers, but dragons, corresponding dragons. We need ones, threes, but then there's the multiplication one. Let's let a south go. Okay, so now we have to make a choice. Flowers, five, nine. Let the five crack go. Do multiplication, mix suit. Five, oh, it's five, seven with a three, five. We don't need a nine for multiplication. I don't play those hands very much. Let's let the nine go. This is kind of strange. Three, oh, we got a three, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's, ooh, let's keep that, that seven. Okay, now let's break out the twos. Okay, we did get a nine, might as well keep it. We got a two, oh my goodness. Okay, let's let the nine go here. Three, seven. Okay, now let's see. Three, five, seven, three, five, seven, fives, threes and sevens, five, seven, five, seven, or five, 
seven, three, this one works, five, seven, three, Let's let these go. No keepers. Let's let a two crack go. Okay. Let's see. Three. We got a three. Here's a one. Five, seven. Let's just keep the odds. Past these. Let's see. Five, seven, three, five. We don't need a one, but we could do three, five, one, five. There we go. Three, wow, five. There. Three, five, one, five. I guess I could put it in order. That worked out. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so now let's do one of each suit right there. Okay, no keepers. Six discards, but look, we have a hand with no gaps and we have our pair and our singles. Multiplication and odds that came in. I'm surprised. It's tough though. One, three, five singles pair. If you would have done something different, let me know. It's interesting how it came through. You can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. American Mahjong is a very flexible game and you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, create strips for every category on the card and practice these skills, especially if you find yourself in a rut. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.